NSL Prime League. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the ASL Prime League, uh, Season 5 here on Ding It TV. And uh, this is the final one, the final match to see who was who will join Puck in the round of 16 today. So, the first player from Brazil. He is the Blue Terran in the top left. His name is... Root Gaming Kelazor. And his opponent, down in the bottom right, we've got the red turn player. He is Axiom Rim. All right. Now I know that is history, uh, you know, uh, for Kelazor. It doesn't necessarily. I mean, it doesn't show the best uh, TVT uh, win percentage, but obviously, it doesn't necessarily yeah. mean. That that's the kind of shape that he is in right now because I uh, was brought back to the WCS that he played against Polt or the WCS match uh, where he played against Polt and even though he lost the series um, he played like so incredibly you know what I mean like uh, I think way back when he was doing I think it was uh, the breaking out the breaking out show with Fear Dragon, not just the invitational the tournament but he had a show Fear Dragon where uh, he would actually talk to the players and they would give their insight on the game, uh, their struggles and whatnot, and I think that at that time, this was like last year, maybe a year and a half ago, where TVT was a weakness of his, and he didn't, you know, before he was on route, by the way, this was before he was on route, um, where TVT was something that he struggled with uh, quite a bit. So maybe things have changed a little bit. I know his recent form has been better um, in the matchup. So, Yeah. I mean... Uh... Yeah, it's interesting how some players like uh, end up swinging between having uh, matchups be their worst to their best, and just because they practice it so hard and figure it out a bit better. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Kelzer's two tiers on the up. Um, yeah, so I mean, having that team support really does help as well. Like, uh, that's true. So we'll see. Uh, it's gonna be Marines win the battle against the plates, though. Don't any other Terrans. On route. Oh, that Massa? There's Massa? Massa is on route and so is uh, Supernova. Oh, that's true. I did forget it. Oh, that's Supernova. So, uh, yeah, I guess those are some pretty good talents to practice with. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? Because it is TVT, so you would probably need a Terran to yeah. with it. It's not like it was. Yeah, there. I mean, it's you can't really get too much perspective on TVT from the opposing side mm -hmm. like you can with, say, TVP or something, or you just yeah. ask a pro to play what they think. Only person I can think of is Caliber, who is um, on route. I don't know if he's still on route, but he was a random player, main Protoss, though I believe. But uh, I mean, oh, that's right. yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's not a name I've heard of for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, not like he's uh, playing in too many tournaments at all. No. Whoa, Ooh, young. Come that fine. In a way. But, yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm getting out of here. But he does One patrol, more. and he will. Uh, keep it out there and that marine might actually be able to find it yeah the marine just gets one shot off no Kells is just getting straight across the map well uh, as far oh. as builds go yeah right <laughs> Ryan going for the cloak banshee while oh. Kells are going most likely oh oh <laughs> looks like he's gonna go do you think he gets a oh. after the raven oh yeah oh uh, yeah it looks like um I like I like Raven Overs, and I think they're like really solidly defensive um, mm -hmm. against pretty much anything. Like yeah. uh, Frost Banshees, obviously it's great. You don't have Scan. Um, and even against tanks, tanks will hit a little bit later. And the uh, Auto Turret or the Hunter Seeker Missile are both really great tools against tanks, either from kind of forcing them to on siege and forcing them to move. Uh, or the hunt, the auto turret actually uh, aggroes tanks really, really well, and yep. has a lot of health, and uh, you know just doesn't really uh, cause splash damage to any other units. So uh, it's all pretty good for that. Yep, but the Banshee of Young gonna get taken out, and Kelazur is off to a great start so far. It does uh, manage to shut down that Banshee, which does have the cloak invested into it. 
But Young also got a Raven back at home in case uh, Kelizor was opening up for Banshees himself, which it seems like he is going to follow it up with. Uh, something that you do see nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, the later Banshee, right? It's like they'll never expect the, the follow-up Banshee. Yeah. Sometimes people don't. It's a little unusual. Like, usually it goes the other way around because Banshees, the earlier they hit, the better they are. And with the more defensive Raven, you can afford to squeeze out a bit more uh, stuff before that. But <laughs> That Marine was a G, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is he the same one that killed the uh, Hellion? Yeah, How many I kills is he? Oh, this guy is crazy. Yeah. that's a, What a boss, man. He's literally playing a MOBA right now, you know? Like, everybody <laughs> else on his team is playing StarCraft 2, but he thinks that he's playing, um, like, Heroes of the Storm or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, uh, like Pux. Pux's been practicing a bunch of Legs of the Void, and Keller's yep. has been practicing Warcraft 3, and he's like, <laughs> right, I'm gonna open up. This is my hero. Clearly. Where are the creeps? Look, this, that's yeah, he's what he's looking. doing. He's, he's, like he's, he's going creeping with the uh, Marines. Like, what? What, are the, what are the mob camps? <laughs> But he's got two already. Not bad. I mean, that's it's pretty good. Ryung, though, okay. uh, is going to be moving out with his Banshee again. A second one. Doesn't it look like it's going to be doing too much, though. Uh, it will, actually. There's nothing here, because uh, Kelizor did just move out. So this will do a lot. Vikings are going to need to scan, most likely. But I thought Kelizor made a Banshee himself. Is it with his army or something, or did he cancel it? Yeah, it's right there. It's just with uh, Ryung's Banshee. Or where Ryung's Banshee is. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy goes down spots not much here. Whoa, whoa. Uh, seems to be moving back down, but yeah, Kelzor already gets a decent position established, and uh, Ryan's going to siege up his own tanks. But oh, oh, the wow. siege tanks a little far forwards, but luckily the bunker kind of saved him. Yep, is it Widowmine? Can Widowmine hit another Widowmine? When it's uh, yes, but only if they have protection. Oh, yeah. Well, a good uh, siege tank. Gonna get taken out, perhaps, but not gonna cause too much splash damage as, uh, mm -hmm. does get on away. Kelazor has the air control, so we're gonna try to use some turrets in order to negate that by a little bit, but I don't know how much that's gonna really work out for him. Double Seeker Missile does take out one of those tanks, and the Banshee is gonna be so important in this whole, uh, situation. Yep, so off that turret building, but, uh, another SV is forced to come back and, uh, yeah, now the turret can actually force those units away, but... Oh, Kelzo steps a little far forward with one of those tanks, and is going to get taken out. Yep. So right Such a smart there. move, though, by Ryung with the Banshee. Oh. I mean, with the uh, turrets. Or else that Banshee would have a heyday. Mm-hmm. Um, Splash Damage also took out an SCV, actually, so... Uh, Kelzo now has to drop a mule to repair that Banshee, and that's going to take a while. Banshee's up to, I think, like, this, actually the slowest repairing thing in the game. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, Ryung does manage to sneak out two medevac full of units. And if uh, Kelazo doesn't make a move here and start actually dealing damage, he is going to take a lot of damage from this, uh, from this drop. Uh, that is just too much to defend with only... I don't know what he has. That Widowmine, though, taking out a lot of the reinforcements of Kelazor. Kelazor needs to oh, make wow. his move. I don't think he realizes what's uh, on the way. Uh, yes, you know, I think he just scanned it. Yeah, it's all lining up now. GG. He has nothing yep. like a home. Nothing at all. Wow. Okay, then. Here we are on Cactus Valley. Down here in the bottom right. The red Terran player. Can he pull it back to move on to round 16? It is... Root Gaming, Kelazor. His opponent spawning on the other side of the bottom of Cactus Valley, representing Korea. It is the Blue Terran player. Axiom Rib. Right. Oh yeah. So uh, well, uh, gas first, actually, from both players here. Really going to be getting quite aggressive. I think we're going to see some fast banshees. Um, well, definitely a fast factory. I kind of lean towards banshees, but um, just like widowmine drops and hellion drops have been gaining quite a lot of popularity as well. I guess it'll depend when we see that second gas come down. 
Mm, well, I think, yeah, it's pretty much uh, in TVT, it seems to be very common. Like, I think Banshees are very common, but, like, yeah. when... I've also seen these kind of, like, APOC did it, I think. Um, I don't know if he had a... Did he play a Tyrant yesterday? No, he didn't play a Tyrant yesterday, but or two days ago, but when he was uh, going through the the other gamer bet thing, I think, uh, he had the style where he would, like, get a medevac and get some Hellions, I think maybe, like, one Widow Mine and then some Marines or something, and do, like, a very aggressive kind of drop style where you still get the Widow Mine on the ramp. Almost something like you would do in TVP. Yeah. Like from um, weird styles, even though... But Banshee's much more common in uh, TVT. Yeah, definitely. Uh... I mean, they're, they're seen a bit in uh, TVZ sometimes, but I'd say they're mainly for TVT right now. But going to the Reapers as well is uh, mm -hmm. a little unusual. I mean, mirror builds in both players, and these are fairly unusual builds. Like, opening up the gas first into Reapers and Factory, it's and almost looks. Like yeah, TVZ, this is... Uh... But with, <laughs> I don't know, less macro. No, that one 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 style... Yeah. This is where you can kind of do whatever you want. I mean, I feel... I wonder how we're going to actually see it, but they look to be doing identical builds for now. Uh, with the Tech Lab going down here uh, for Ryung, is it going to be the same here for Kelezor, though? You know, he could. Uh, he still has the options to do pretty much... I don't know. I, uh, I'm not like I'm not going to pretend to be a TVT expert, but... Yeah, I think Kelezor is in a pretty good position here. Uh, both <laughs> his Reapers are in the same place. Uh, Ryung has a slight advantage in his Hellion count. Actually, he's going to use that to take care of the opponent's Hellions, so he should be okay here. Um, yeah, because Hellions are pretty good against Reapers. Yep, and it's uh, nice that he was able to at least get the Reaper of Ryung, so he goes in there and trades Yeah. Um, pretty evenly. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, he traded, what, like... Uh, a Hellion and two, a Hellion and a Reaper for a Hellion and, and a Reaper, I think. So, and scouting yeah. info too, though. So he was able to see that it was Cloak Banshee. But now uh, Ryung does go in and see that it is Cloak Banshee as well. Oh, but he will he catch this Reaper? I think Ooh. so. Yeah, the Hellion will just catch up to it. Uh, not this stuck behind that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the jump slowed it down a little too much. So upon seeing that here, uh, Ryung does decide to go ahead and make a Raven instead of a second bin. Oh no, he actually made a Viking and then a Raven. So uh, he is looking to catch that Banshee of Kelazor. And uh, Kelazor is, you know, going to move on out with it and then we'll have Cloak. Yeah, but right now Kelazor is moving in with those Hellions and uh, actually SCVs having to come off the line for Ryung. Whoa, yeah, that's one thing that you don't uh, usually want to take off the really line. Bad. Yeah, so many SCVs are going to go down here. Viking does have to help, and if it goes down, then there's going to be no way to deal with the Banshee that is coming. Weird pathing on that, uh, Hellion, but... Yeah, now, uh, Ryung in anger is attacking his own starport, and, uh, the Banshee comes in. Getting what yep. damage it can done. Four kills is, like... Five five kills, kills, think, kills, yeah. Is, Not is, bad, though. Yeah. Pretty good so, considering. Behind it all, Kelazor is getting his expansion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit later than that of Ryung's. So he's down by almost half of the workers, though. So yeah, or... The thing is, now uh, now it's Ryung's turn to put the hurt on. Because he's got four Hellions. And yep. Kelazor doesn't have... Has things that are bad against Hellions. <laughs> yeah, he has like four Marines. Um, this Viking is actually like pretty good against Hellion though. Mm -hmm. So it could be enough to uh, deter them. Look at that. Who ever thought that uh, things would be so afraid of a landed Viking? Yeah, All right. Never mind. I spoke a little too soon, but the Marines are coming out with the assistance of the tank. And, uh, that's some good timing. I feel like if Ryung did go in a little earlier, that could have been scary for a minute. Yeah. But, I mean, he didn't know. He doesn't have like the full vision like we do. True, it is very, very easy to make those sort of calls. Like, oh, what's this player doing? Why didn't he just attack? Uh, when you can literally, like, you ha you have map hacks. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the cool thing about this uh, is that I think Ryung is planning to go into mech as he is floating his barracks over uh, for spotting of a banshee or a drop. But uh, mm -hmm. is he actually going to be able to get enough units out in time 
He doesn't have the production facilities just yet. Where's his fact? Oh yeah, it's right there. But <laughs> the, uh, there's I no add-on. Yeah, he's just got uh, Hellions on the ground mm -hmm. and Vikings if he lands them, and nothing he's got is really that good against tanks. The Banshee nope. is kind of the only thing that really contends with it. Uh, but the Raven could also uh, shoot a Seeker missile. That's true. A couple uh, Seeker missiles would drive it away pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. You can get the right position for that. So yeah, I think it's just going to be a slight contain here. Oh, with the second siege tank though, this could be pretty good for Kelazor. I don't know if this Banshee does have cloak. Neither of the Banshees have cloak, so neither of them invested into it. But with no Vikings out uh, for Kelazor, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's a little less scary of a contain. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, he doesn't really have any way of really driving away that Banshee. And now with the Marines way out of position, they are doing some damage to this Ultiman, but might actually lose a tank for it. No, not quite. I think yeah. Kells are dis distributing the damage a bit too much, but opens up. Okay. Nope, I'm not sure what those hunters are doing. <laughs> this is like one of those situations where you're like, I don't know if I should just run in with everything or not, but... I... Oh, he has an armory now. He's going to drop the Hellbats on top of all of that. Uh -huh. Or is he, is he going to... He's gonna like try and break containers. He's just gonna do what he did last time and just go and kill his opponent. I don't well, think, think it's gonna that's work. That's what he's gonna time. do. Yeah, Kellis has got siege tank though and actual bio at home this time, so I don't think uh, he's gonna see too much success. No. I don't know. You could try, you could try it try though. It. With the second siege tank, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but. Oh yeah. At this point, yeah, you might as well just try to get some damage done in the uh, economy. He's just going to back off and uh, do a bit of a drop with these, which I think is basically his best choice at this stage. Mm -hmm. Not like a, a great choice to have to make, but uh, it's the best thing he can do. Mm -hmm. And Kelazor has been mining from his natural this whole time. Mm -hmm. You know, Ryung uh, wanted to get counter damage done, but he's in a little bit of trouble now, just uh, economically. So this is it. I think he's going to go for it. Get a good spot with the Vikings. Maybe even get that Raven. Oh, man. I'm sure if that had been a PDD, the Raven would have survived. Yeah. Oh, here he goes. Ryung is breaking the contain. Hellbats all over the place. And yeah. Ev died. It's kind of like what I was thinking he was going to do when he first loaded those two up. But uh, yeah. he had to worry about the Raven, maybe. But I don't know. I feel like he would have been able to just to break the contain and get his economy going. But it worked for him last time. And he figured maybe it would work again. I guess so. But, uh, it's all right. He just, I guess, playing things a little more cautiously, and uh, we'll see if it works out for him later on in the game. For now, though, uh, Ryung, I don't know. He's, he's got a lot of hellbats, but not really that much else. And yeah. uh, if he can get like a really, really good drop with all of his uh, hellbats on top of what Kelzo has, if it's all clumped up, he should do okay. But that's going to be tough. To say the least. Oh yeah, and this is nice though uh, to see uh, the kind of mech versus the marine tank. You know, I don't know uh, Ryung's. I don't know the last time I've seen Ryung do this uh, mech style in TVT because I don't even remember the last time I've seen Ryung play TVT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just about <laughs> like to say like we haven't been graced with Ryung's TVT for a little while. Um, mm -hmm. At least I haven't. But, but this. I would I would almost expect Kelazor to be the one to uh, be the mecking one if he had been like studying under the wings of uh, Supernova. Supernova, yeah. TVT, mech extraordinaire, especially on Cactus Valley. But uh, he is going to go Marine Tank. Yeah, it's how we starting off. And uh, I mean, Kelazor's got a pretty decent drop route in towards Ryung's main. Mm -hmm. But later on in the game, I feel like Ryung. Uh, he's already got a decent Viking cloud up, and it's going to be a bit tough for Kelzo to rest back air control. Kelzo has slightly more Vikings, but with that Raven for Ryung still alive, <laughs> the PDD is really, really a powerful force uh, in those fights. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, later on, Ryung's going to end up with a turret ring. It's going to be very difficult for Kelzo to actually get any damage done with the drop, so we'll see. He'll have to be trading all the time, but he's moving out, starting it. Yep, I love how Ryung is keeping all of his Hellbats in those medevacs. He's waiting for that time, um, and he might be able to do it. Is that a scan from Ryung? It looks yeah. like it is. So before the siege tanks even siege up, he's going to go and boost on top of all of that bio. 
Is it gonna Whoa. be enough? Ryung with the YOLO plays. Oh, he's getting shot by the Vikings, however, but that's a lot of bio out of Kelazor. That is a lot of bio. Kelazor ran up that ramp and, uh, yeah, Ryung, GG. That was a fast engagement. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect that to go that way. Gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Two Terrans, one Fortress. This one spawning in the bottom left, he is ready with rage. It is... Root Gaming, Kelazur. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it looks like... <clears throat> Two Terrans, <laughs> one fortress. It is. Axiom Rook! And in the top right, the purple Terran. Rook Gaming, Kelazur. And it's cross positions too, so this could get crazy. I was actually thinking that Iron Fortress, I mean, the Cactus Valley one was going to be like super long and crazy. The way that it was setting up. Yeah, it was uh, It was starting to look that way for a while, but uh, then that last engagement just ended it so quickly. But right now, oh, this is, this is sick. Kelazo has actually redirected his SCV manually. To avoid that little kind of glitchy uh, pathing weird thing where it usually goes like down the ramp and then up the ramp in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay. I know what you mean. Yeah. This is that's like I, I always watch that and I'm always like, oh come on, it's not like that difficult to do. Why can't you do that? <laughs> I don't think um, I do. I think I just go like, yep. <laughs> yeah, I just I just I'll be honest, when I'm playing ladder, I actually did do just, I'm, Well I didn't even know. I didn't I even remember just after I'm like, why is my probe going there? Uh, mm -hmm. oh drone or whatever well but, once yeah, again well, looking like it was much better most likely will be a 1-1-1 but uh Ryung is not going to get a scout here and he's not going for a reaper either Whew. that marine is yeah close not letting anybody get in this house at all oh no 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 but uh Ryung's going for the double gas up here so could see some cloak banshees from him. Kelzer also getting his dog ass up. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll see some cloak banshees from him. But he's actually building uh, Hellion, so. A he also less got a Reaper, so we'll delay his uh, starport by a little bit. But that yeah. makes me think that he wants to be the reactive player and actually go for uh, the Raven instead. Mm. You know, because he knows where his opponent is. He could go for banshees, but like he might, he'd rather just find out what exactly Ryung is doing. And then kind of make his play off of that. Yeah. Oh, possibly. delay it. The starport. Oh, well. no, no, not quite. A little bit too slow, but uh, that reaper, I think, is. Yeah, it's not getting out. Uh, not with that hellion in the base, but try to stay <laughs> for as much damage as it could. Yeah. Still, useful scouting information. Worth losing the uh, reaper just to kind of figure out what's going on and uh, this. Back up, Hellion and Reaper are going to push away Ryang's Hellion and keep him in his base for a little while, at least until that Banshee comes out. And uh, yeah, then we should all be gravy for Kelazor. As yep. he's actually building, he's building a Viking and rallying it over to uh, Ryang's base. I think he's just going to try and intercept the Banshee as it comes in. Yeah. If he can do that before Cloak finishes, he'll be in a great position. But Ryang has no idea where. Kelazor even is. He's gonna have to kind of like. Oh, is he going up to the top left first? Yeah, I think he is. So he's gonna go to the wrong spot first. But I mean, that may not even be a bad thing for him because that means that the Viking is not gonna be able to yeah. actually intercept it. Yeah, so. not that bad. Um, and yeah, follow up Raven coming in from both players. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess the advantage here for Kelazor with the. the Banshee having gone up to the top left first is that uh, cloaking field will finish for you, Ryung, most yep. likely. Yeah, there is. Um, so that's more resources that should 
be wasted. If Keller's is still on point with his uh, responses, then um, Ryung will have invested a lot more into this and shouldn't yeah. really get that more of a return. And is it going to fly into the Widowmine? It will. One scan should be able to... What? Oh, he doesn't have detection. So the Widowmine didn't go off. Unfortunately for him, he didn't have a scan on. Or scan up. Yeah, a bit of a shame, but uh, he's just going to keep on chasing anyway. He really wants this Banshee. Yeah. I mean, I think you need more uh, than one Viking, I think, to kill it with one skin. Yes, you need two. But uh, is Ryung investing more into more Banshees, or is that it? Is he done? Uh, that's Looks it. Like, that's it. One and done. All right, no problem, no problem. It's cool. Follow up here, uh, looking like Ryung does want to start taking his base very soon. Kelazor has built it on on uh, location, and uh, doesn't quite have the orbital just yet. And his uh, defensive play kind of worked in the sense that it didn't allow Ryung to really do much damage, but he still didn't get the Banshee, so it's going to come into play um, with any other push if he tries to break Siege tanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's one of the things. Just having, like, one Banshee is one of the things that turns... Uh that air control into such a dominating force rather than it just uh i say just because it's like still pretty important uh giving your siege tank that extra bit of range without having to scan you can actually like mm -hmm. really really break uh tank positions really nicely we have just one banshee but i feel like that comes into play a bit more in mech versus mech with bio you've usually got some uh marines or something to at least combat the banshee somewhat but uh, Solid damage. Three kills already nice. No turret up here for Ryung. He's going to lose quite a Oof. few workers here because he's using Marines in order to deal with this stuff. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, this is so good. Hit kills are eight kills on the Banshee. Uh, oh, my goodness. So much oh, I knew it. Oh. Dropping that auto turret right at the end. Nice. Still worth it, though, I think. Uh, I would say so, yeah. The Banshee that came so late and... Did so much. Didn't even invest into cloak for it. So much less of an investment for young and much more of a reward. Yeah. So the tanks production has begun. Kelazor is uh, a little bit behind on the workers this time though. Um Ryung oh, no no Kelazor is ahead in sorry in the workers. Forty three to thirty three as he This has been more adamant about producing workers and uh, actually was able to get workers killed. Yeah. So I think that's the big deal. Yeah, eight more workers killed by Kelazor than Ryang, so... It's, I suppose, only natural that Ryang... Oh, sorry, Kelazor will be up in workers. And, um... Yeah, now Ryang moving out. Going for a little bit of a drop. Yeah. Kelazor should be more than ready for this. Four siege tanks and a marine. And, obviously, Ryang knows this. He's not going to commit too much to it. The Banshee backs on off. But he has to be very careful, though. Oh, as he oh, oh right under that. Wow, even loses the Viking as well, Kelazor. What a great bait. Yep. Eight out of eight. At least. So. But that is a, that's a pretty big deal, though. That was a full energy Raven, you know, and, uh. Yeah. Now, what is he gonna do here as, uh, here comes a big push out of Ryung? He does have a I siege mean, tank, though. The siege tank. Yeah, I, I imagine he's just gonna have five siege tanks. Although, that number is gonna be. Oh, Kelazor, too slow. Yep, you wanted to lift oh, it up. No, it's only one. He can stop. Uh, can he break it? I don't He's out of range. Yeah. Yeah. This tank, so he wanted to be in range of it, and he just stims again. Uh, I don't know if Kelazor might be uh, falling apart a little bit here. He's running his units into that Seeker missile. Uh, oh, no. This. I mean, I don't know. The control is not really that great out of Kelazor, and he's losing everything now. Had an amazing Seize Tank lead, but now he's starting to lose it all. Yeah, everything's going down. Just yeah. that fancy poking in. Great use of just single seeker missiles by Ryung as well. And he's completely broken it. Kelazor has broken. barely anything left now. And Ryung is completely running. GG. G, there it is. Wow. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to support the ASL by hitting the button now.